Hello everyone. So before proceeding to double rounded leveling or three wire leveling and all that stuff, um, it's good to have a quicker view of um, differential leveling. Okay, so we have problem right here. So the the goal here is to determine the elevation of BM2 given the elevation of BM1. Okay, so, so what you need to do is to set up your instrument here. So after BM1, so and then you level your instrument. Right. Then after doing that, you take a back sight on with the rod on at BM1. So as you can see here, we have a back sight of 0 0.68. Then you add that back sight to the elevation of BM1 to get the elevation of the line of sight, right? Or we also call that the height of instrument. So as you can see right here, you will get this height of instrument. And then in order to get the elevation of TP1. So you take a four take a foresight on TP1 with the rod on TP1, and then subtract that foresight from the height of instrument. Then you will get this elevation of TP1. So you can then transfer your instrument here after TP1, and then you get another backside at TP1, which is 0 0.98 here. And then if you add that, if you add that to the uh, TP1, you will get the height of instrument again, and then take another foresight, and then subtract that foresight from the new HI, and the new HI, and then you will get the elevation of TP2. Okay, so basically you do that over and over again until you reach BM2, right? Okay, so once you have all that data, so basically uh, you go out into, when you go out into the field, uh, you have your uh, notebook, right? So you tabulate that. So as you can see right here, we have our tabulated data. So let's uh, try to make sense of this table. So as you can see here, this is the elevation of BM1. And then this is the backside. So if we add them together, we get 126.13. And now, so this is now the uh, 126.13, this first uh, HI. So this is 126.13. And then at TP1, you have a four foresight, right, from the first setup. So this is a foresight on TP1. Then you subtract this um, 3.75 from the HI. So you will get you will get the 122.38. So this TP1 elevation is 122.38. And then you transfer your instrument. You take a backside on TP1, right? So you will uh, we have here 1.98. Then if you add 122.38 and 0 0.98, you will get um, this 123.36, okay? And then to get the elevation of TP2, you subtract the foresight on TP2, 3.52, and you will get this. So you basically do that um, repeated, repeatedly and then until you um, reach BM2, okay? So after doing all those calculations, it's good to do an arithmetic check. So for the arithmetic check, um, you get the summation of uh, the backside, which is equal to 9.29. And then the summation of the foresight, which is equal to 9.26. Now we put a negative sign here because as you can see here in the figure, we, we always subtracted the foresights, right? To get the elevations of the turning points. So if we take the elevation of BM1, elevation of BM1, and you add the summation of backside, then add the summation of foresight, you should get the elevation of the BM2, right? Now, so this is 125.45 plus 9.29 minus 9.26 should be equal to 125.48. Now, if you got that correctly, so that means that you did the uh, arithmetic correctly. So uh, we should stress out that this is only an arithmetic check. So that's it for differential leveling. Um, I hope you have, you've refreshed your memory on that. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video for double-rounded leveling.